Hi everyone, my name is Michelle Wishner, and for my submission for the Graduate Research and Creativity Expo, I have adapted a lib guide that I made as part of the Master of Library and Information Science program here at UNCG. So the lib guide that I created was a set of resources for students who are learning how to use social media to take in information because as social media becomes more and more prevalent, the information seeking and finding behaviors of the general public are changing. So I started my research at the Pew Research Center to understand what percentage of the population it really is that's using social media. And for the United States, it's 68% of adults are on Facebook, and that's across all age categories of adults. And then more specifically, in that undergraduate population of 18 to 24 year olds, it's that eight out, or 88%, so almost nine out of every 10 students are on some form of social media. So everyone's information gathering habits are gonna be impacted by this. Basically, there are a couple of different factors that come into play to understand how the information seeking behaviors are changing or just kind of the general taking in of information. One is cognitive overload. So a couple of different studies and books that I read talked about how because we are consistently scrolling and on screens, the ways that we're taking information in are becoming too much for our brains and are blocking things like good judgment about what these sources are and sometimes even blocking our own creativity. And that creativity can be something that comes in and the creativity of you being able to figure out what the information is that you're seeing. And then another one is that people don't necessarily understand how fake news and algorithms work. So they don't necessarily know what the factors are that they should be seeing when they're looking at those sorts of things. So basically what I've posited for this project is that libraries can help solve this problem by taking in social media as a concept into the information literacy teaching that they do. So there are a few different ways we can do this. One is that we can still teach students to use the craft test to evaluate social media. So we wanna teach them to evaluate sources, including posts for things like currency, relevancy, accuracy, authority, and purpose. We can use the Association of College and Research Library Standards for the Framework for Information Literacy to help students understand what they should be seeking for good information because you can get good information off social media, you just have to understand what accounts you're looking at and when things were posted. So we can help them to understand that information is constructed and contextual. We want them to know when it is that they're reading this information, what's surrounding it, and also who created the post, as in where did it come from and who constructed it. And we can also use critical pedagogy to help students be able to understand that algorithms can sometimes be sexist or racist, and so they need to take this into account when they're looking at what's in their feeds. And that is the basic premise of my project. So thanks everyone for watching, and I can't wait to see everyone else's submissions.